Bei der is wel belly bear. My dear Marge, we're all but drowned. And what harm? But I have five acres of hay down these past nine days, and the pattern of belly bunion staring me in the face. Since I wrote you last, I turned my hand to matchmaking. There is a fool stuck of a man by the name of Cud Muldoon living in the holding next to ours. You remember the modern father, Cornelius and Mina Muldoon? Well, Cud would be bothering and fifty, and he is Kate Adel this past five years buying socks, shirts, and the odd suit of clothes for him. Too shy to go into a shop. A man with no woman like many another around this place. The disease of the single life is a curse beyond curing when it catches hold. However, in Glenna Moon, there is a well-blossomed damsel living alone with her brother, and she going by the name of Circe's V. The brother Tom is anxious to bring in a woman, but Circe's have no notion of taking to the high road and she facing for 40. Word went abroad that she would not turn her back on a likely man with a roof over his head and the means of supporting a wife. I got to work and soon, barring an accident, could Muldoon won't be turning and twisting in his bed as much as he used to. When word went out that I was tending to the wants of Sir Cicely, who suits could Muldoon fine by the way, didn't I get a letter from a lady anchored in a place called Kuma Sahara, to the east of Cahars I've been, and she tagged with the name of Fanula Crushed. An only daughter, burning eyelid, sir, but with a fortune of five hundred pounds. And a man was all she wanted, and she easy about age, so long as he had a house and a way of living, and the natural faculties in fair working order, if you follow me. I got on to Mickey Inchnas of Duna Lima, who have a fine place with seven cows, and if he's long in the tooth itself, he's still a fine lump of a man. And some says what knows, he have a haft like the shaft of a donkey's car. Once a good man, they say, always a good man. I arranged a meeting for them, for Teddy O'Connor's pub in Killarney. We had drinks, small ones for myself and Mickey and Schnaz, and a port wine for Fanula Crushed. I left them at it, and I went downtown to make out a dozen buns for Kate. They're to meet again, and who knows, we could have no blood in Ballybarra in no time at all. You'll hear no more from me now until the fall of the year, and say a prayer let you that we'll get the weather fine, or my cows and pony will go without aid. Give our regards to Jack, your loving brother, Richard.